The Test of Language Development, Intermediate 4th Edition. The purpose of the TOLD I-4 is to assess spoken language skills in individuals ranging from 8 years, 0 months, to 17 years, 11 months. The TOLD I-4 is a norm-referenced, non-timed, individually administered test designed to identify students who are significantly below their peers in oral language proficiency, determine students' specific strengths and weaknesses in oral language skills, document progress in remedial programs, and measure oral language in research studies. The testing materials include the examiner's manual, the picture book, and the examiner record booklet. On the left is the examiner's manual, which provides information on the uses of the test, norming procedures, validity, reliability, and scoring instructions. On the right is a picture book, which contains nine picture cards. This is used for subtest two. It is not an easel. The examiner record booklet contains complete information about the administration and scoring of the subtest. The results are recorded in this booklet. Sarah is a nine-year-old fourth grader. She is not at the social development of that of her peers. She is often excluded from others in her class. Her interests are playing softball, although she has difficulty understanding her coach's directions. Sarah's teacher and parents have noted that she often seems to have difficulty understanding verbal instruction and has limited lexicon. When Sarah is confused or does not understand, she will not ask for clarification. Sarah was in third grade before she could decode grade level text. She is a slow reader and does not comprehend what is being read easily. Sarah's teacher describes her as an isolated student that would rather work and play alone. Sarah also stated that Sarah is at times aggressive, seemed to have no reciprocal friendships in class. Sarah does not participate in class and when spontaneously called upon, she frequently says she does not know or is quiet or unsure of her response even when it is correct. Sarah's parents are both nurses. They work every night with Sarah to help her finish her homework. Sarah's parents are married, working generally opposite shifts, except some school nights. Sarah lives in an English-speaking household and is an only child. Sarah was a full-term baby delivered with no complications. Sarah works assiduously to complete her work, but it is usually below average. Her parents did not understand what was going on and how after so many hours of hard work, Sarah was not receiving expected results. Sarah was diagnosed with a specific language impairment. Subtest 1, Sentence Combining. This 30-item subtest integrates elements of listening and speaking, but mostly focuses on speaking. This test demonstrates syntactic ability. The student must form one compound sentence from two or more simple sentences said by the examiner. The sentence must be short and include all the key elements of the stimulus mentions. For example, the examiner says, I like milk, I like cookies. The student then responds appropriately, I like milk and cookies. I'm going to say some sentences. I want you to listen carefully, then put the sentences together. Make one sentence out of the sentences. Make your sentences as short as you can. For example, if I say, I am big, I am tall, you could say, I am big and tall. You make one sentence and you make it as short as you can. Now you try. I like cake, I like ice cream. I like cake and I like ice cream. Yes, but can you make the sentence shorter? I like cake and ice cream. Okay, are you ready to begin? Yes. I like milk, I like cookies. I like milk and I like cookies. Yes, but can you make the sentence shorter? I like milk and cookies. We like to run, we like to play. We like to run and play. The horse was ridden by Monica. The horse was ridden by Tyler. They rode the horse. Subtest 2, Picture Vocabulary. This 80 item subtest measures receptive vocabulary. This is the only subtest that uses the picture book. The format is a point to the picture of the word I say technique. The examiner says a series of two word phrases and the student selects a picture that best represents the stimulus phrase. For example, the examiner says, point to the picture that best goes with the quintet's tool. 
The student then responds by pointing to the appropriate picture. I want to see how many words you know. Some of the words I'm going to ask you about will be easy and some will be hard. If you don't know what some words mean, say, I don't know what that means. If you think you know the word but are not sure, go ahead and guess. It's okay to guess. Ready? Let's begin. Look at all these pictures. Point to the picture that best goes with these words. Monkey C. Now I'm going to say some more words. Be sure to look carefully at all the pictures. Some of the pictures are used more than once. Some pictures are not used at all. Point to the picture that best goes with tail wagger. Point to the picture that best goes with hibernating mammal. Point to the picture that best goes with branch swinger. Point to the picture that best goes with bird chaser. Point to the picture that best goes with grizzled carnivore. I don't know. Point to the picture that best goes with crummy crunchies. Point to the picture that best goes with bundled straw. Point to the picture that best goes with tooth extractor. Point to the picture that best goes with balancing act. Point to the picture that best goes with oral hygienist. I don't know. Subtest 3, word ordering. This is a 32 item subtest that integrates both listening and speaking abilities. To test syntactic ability, the examiner says a series of randomly ordered words and asks the student to reorder them into a complete, correct sentence. For example, the examiner says, cake, eat your. The student responds by saying, eat your cake. I'm going to say some words that you must make into a sentence. Use all the words and put them together to make a sentence. For example, big, am, I. Can you change the words around to make a sentence? You could say, I am big or am I big? Let's try another. Name is my Sarah. Can you make a sentence? My name is Sarah. Okay, ready? Let's begin. Home, go, let's. Let's go home. Party, fun, was, the. The party was fun. Come us with. I don't know. Subtest 4, Relational Vocabulary. This is a 30-item semantic subtest that focuses on organizing a task with the use of some listening ability. The student must explain to the examiner how three verbalized words are alike. To be successful, the student must describe their relationship or the category they belong to. For example, the examiner says north, south, east. The student can respond correctly by giving the category of the above words, for, instant, for instance, directions. I'm going to say three words that are alike in some way. I want you to tell me how they are all alike. For example, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. These are all days of the week. That is how they are alike. Now you try some. Red, brown, green. How are they alike? Colors. Ready? Let's begin. Dog, horse, cat. Animals. 
Ocean, lake, pond. Water. Venus, Mars, Saturn. I don't know. Subtest 5, Morphological Comprehension. This is a 50-item morphological subtest and is primarily a listening task. The student must distinguish between sentences that have correct grammar and those that do not. Some of the incorrect sentences contain syntactic errors, but most of them are morphological errors in the use of noun-verb agreement, pronouns, comparative and superlative adjectives, negatives, plurals, and adverbs. For example, the examiner says, he drank the cola. The student responds by saying whether the statement is correct or incorrect. In this example, it's incorrect. I'm going to say some sentences. Some of the sentences are correct, some are incorrect. You tell me if the sentence I say is correct or incorrect. Let's try one. I see you. Is that sentence correct or incorrect? Correct. Yes, that's a correct sentence. Let's try another. Me play ball. Is that sentence correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Yes, that's an incorrect sentence. Ready, let's begin. Those boys is happy. Is that sentence correct or incorrect? Correct. We made some pudding. Is that sentence correct or incorrect? Correct. We haven't no candy to give her. Is that sentence correct or incorrect? I don't know. They like school. Is that sentence correct or incorrect? Correct. Subtest 6, Multiple Meaning. This is a 15-item subtest that measures vocabulary specifically the client's knowledge of homophones. It requires little listening skills and a considerable amount of organizing and speaking ability. The examiner says a single word that has two or more meanings. The student responds by saying as many meanings for that word they can think of. For example, the examiner gives the student the word right. The student can respond by saying correct or entitlement. Sometimes a word we use in speaking will have two or more meanings. For example, the word sun can mean the bright hot star which provides the earth with daylight, or it can also mean a boy child. On this subtest, I will say a word, and I'd like you to tell me as many meanings for that word as you can. Let's practice with this word, see. Tell me as many meanings as you can for see. Look. You can also say understand, ocean, and yes in Spanish. Are you ready? Yes. <clears throat> Scent. Money. That's all. Spiel. Like a robber? Robin? I don't know anymore. That's not fair. For all six subtests, a correct answer receives a score of 1 and an incorrect answer receives a score of 0. A raw score is obtained from each subtest. These scores are written on the examiner record booklet. These raw scores are converted to percentile ranks using Appendix A in the manual. This appendix is also used for scaled score determination. Appendix B was used to complete Section 3, the composite performance, by determining the index scores for each section. Appendix C is used to define the age equivalent for the score obtained. Finally, Section 4 in the examiner record booklet is used to provide a descriptive term for the scaled score.